Australia opener David Warner is in framework of the World Test Championship final against India, but selectors boss George Bailey refused to support him for his automatic inclusion in Ashes squad. Selectors select a larger roster in about two weeks for WTC decision, which will take place at the Oval from June 7th to 11th, and the first two series of Tests of Ashes, which begin June 16th in Birmingham. Alongside 200 challenger against South Africa December, left-handed player Warner struggled for runs the final tests, making a total of 26 three-innings final India round before returning home injured. Despite this, head coach and selector Andrew McDonald said last month that Warner is in the plans for Australia's WTC final. Warner was inducted into Cricket Australia's roster of 24 players on national contract on Thursday, though Bailey didn't say it was an endorsement for the Ashes. I think Dave, like any actor, is at the mercy of choice, Bailey said. Ashes is a huge series and we will try to pick our best team. Our top team will need to play incredibly well to challenge England the way they are playing right now. When asked why Warner wouldn't be selected to an Ashes squad if he's going to play in British conditions in the WTC final, Bailey said he supports McDonald's view that England is a different team than India. I support Andrew's comments about David, she said. I think there are some differences between teams. But we're a few weeks away from announcing this lineup. It was Warner's worst match ever by an opener, who averaged 9.50 at the 2019 Ashes in England, playing 10 innings in a series. Travis Head took his place at top of the standings in India and had an excellent shot in last two tests, but selectors said his promotion was a short term fix. Opener Marcus Harris was surprisingly included in the list of contract players playing the last of his 14 tests against England in January 2022. Matt Renshaw, another opener and intermediate batsman Peter Hanscombe, was overlooked despite both playing in India. Bailey said Renshaw and Hanscombe are playing in India because of their skill sets, but Harris is contracted, with British conditions in mind along with the home tests and tour to New Zealand next year. Harris averaged 19.75 in seven tests against England, with a career average of 25.29. External parties. We're definitely rating Harry's, Harris' stability in these conditions, a really good and strong record in England as well, Bailey said. National contracts are worth an average of $951,000 under the sport's new payout deal, and players left on the roster are automatically promoted if they play enough international cricket. On Wednesday, Nicola Carey was absent from the female contract list with new faces Kim Garth, Heather Graham and Phoebe Litchfield. Litchfield's rise to 17-player roster came as he prepared for his first Ashes round with the NSW batsman considered one of game's future stars. Grace Harris was also placed on full-time roster for first time at start of year, which was automatically added in last 12 months after playing 20 games. Actors on national contracts Darcy Brown, Ashley Gardner, Kim Garth, Heather Graham, Grace Harris, Alyssa Healy, Jessica Jonas Sen, Alana King, Meg Lanning, Phoebe Litchfield, Tolia McGrath, Beth Mooney, Elise Perry, Megan Shutt, Annabelle Sutherland, Taylor Vlamink, Georgia Wareham.